What's up everybody? Welcome back to another drag tune video. This is your boy Mars. We are going to tune what you guys see in the background, which is the uh, R34. R34, I'm super happy. They actually gave it some more horsepower, even though not super happy because it wasn't the original engine. I really would like the original engine to have more horsepower, kind of be competitive to like the Supras and stuff like that, with like 1600 horsepower, kind of make it real cool on that aspect. Um, but what they did is they actually gave us a uh, 3.0 liter in uh, V6, I think it was, or inline six engine, inline six, um, that gives us 1200 horsepower into it. Um, so we're going to show you guys that, show you guys that tune for it. And also I have the original tune for the original engine fully built. I have a tune for that as well in the, um, the uh, share code storefront there for all you guys to have so remember everybody new to the channel hit that subscribe button and let's get right to it we got the 2002 nissan skyline gtr v spec 2 uh, also known as everybody know the r34 let's go right to the uh, upgrades custom upgrades let's go right over here um so we are just going to show you guys um, well, i'm going to show you guys the uh this right here the racing three liter inline six turbo engine um, you gotta love this purple paint job gotta love it so we're gonna put that engine in there you got a couple more engines to do uh, they got this engine in here as well um, and then you have like that engine that engine but I mean keeping it a kind of original you know to Japanese engine to Japanese let's do it with that engine in there even though that's a racing engine but I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about leave the car all wheel drive of course and let's go right over here let's fully build it let's slap everything on their race there we go there we go alrighty now let's go over here let's put those uh, brakes on there rally suspension we need that softer suspension distribute that power there real nice and smooth um, and then no roll cage full weight reducted and let's go right over here let's put everything on there as you guys see race transmission race uh, pretty much is everything raced on there and let's go right to the tires of course the drag tires the front leave them alone at 245s and the rear we went all the way wide at 382s um, and then wheels whatever wheels you guys like that are super light on it um, I forgot what wheels are these which ones are these, these are the uh, works got some really cool looking works on them it looks just looks so nice on it especially with the blackout accent and then you got the uh, the calipers there to match it looks super super nice uh, the size, leave it alone at 18 and 18. And if you guys want to do some spacers, make it look a little bit more aggressive there on the front and back, you guys can. And all I did was take off the spoiler there to reduce some more weight. Um, even though, the, of course, everybody knows the car with the original spoiler on it. I mean, you can't go wrong with the original spoiler, but for to save some weight, we're going to take off the spoiler on there. Let's go here, guys. We have 1.40 to 60, 3.10 to 100, uh, topping around 276. Nice top speed there with that 1200 horsepower. 15, 15 tire pressure. Here goes the gears, guys. 224, 40, 310, uh, 230, 172, 135, and uh, 105. Zero everything out in uh, seven. 65 65 soft 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 and all the way drop let's drop this thing all the way to the ground there it does perform really good as well um lowering it all the way so always take a look at that when you guys make an all-wheel drive car uh take a look at uh the ride height sometimes it likes it low sometimes it likes it high so we're going to go low on this car and then i got 14 14 2 and 2 nothing with this nothing with this 100 0 100 0 and 80 on that uh, balance there almost everything towards the rear there let's take this thing out for a little spin and then we're going to take it to the track super super nice car so they did a new update but as you guys see when you when i exit like anywhere the car is kind of launched forward on the update so i mean they, they keep um adding new updates fixing certain things and uh other things keep uh, messing up too, but oh my God, look at this interior, guys! Imagine owning something like this in real life would be insane. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the <laughs> I'm looking at the cluster, not looking at the room.
sounds so amazing, especially with this crazy, crazy color. Um, you gotta love the color, such a unique color. R34, man, such a legend car. This was like my childhood stuff right here, seeing something like this. Childhood, childhood, childhood memories of this Godzilla of a monstrous car there. Let's go right over here, guys. Let's go and fast travel. Show you guys how to launch it, drive it, and then I'll sum up the video. Real nice and simple uh, video for you guys today. Man, this thing is screaming. So remember, it's all-wheel drive. I, I, some some people might try it rear-wheel drive. I'm not going to go that route um, because that's that's just not the route to do. I mean, it's an all-wheel drive car. Let's see all-wheel drive. Get these tires pretty good there. I believe this is a. Uh, that trash speed. I believe it's a uh, just a gas and e-brake. Um, just do e-brake and gas, which is A and gas. No, it's not. It's not an e-brake and gas. It's going to be that right there. Super, super nice, man. This thing here moving. Let me fix that first gear just a slight bit for you guys, so you guys can have something that it's uh, just just more reliable, back to back to back to back. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys the launch real quick. Let's go right over here. So to launch the car, you're gonna press um, A, gas and clutch. So you make sure to make sure to back the car forward and back, and then press you know brake, stop with the brake there, A, gas and uh, clutch, A, gas and clutch. And all you gotta do is let go of those two, the clutch and the uh, e-brake, and the thing takes off, man, it takes off. That's like a little slight spin on there. Um, you guys can make it not do that at all. Uh, by doing that, all you gotta do is just make that first gear towards the, uh, make that first gear, which go 10 more clicks here towards speed, and then it should start gripping a lot easier. Let's give it another shot here. There we go. All that power is distributed there to the back, and the thing just keeps moving forward and forward and forward and forward. And forward. Such a lovely, lovely car. Super happy they gave it some power. Um, you know, I mean, I can imagine this racing against the Supra um, to see, you know, maybe like uh, same horsepower, both brackets. The original engine gives you like around, uh, what is it, 800 horsepower? Only built. There you go guys, super, 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 super nice tune for it. 180 mile per hour track speed on the R34. You gotta love this car, man. Such a beautiful, epic car. Let's go right over here real quick. Let me show you guys the tune. Uh, let's go right over here. Show you guys the tune real quick. It should be all the way towards the back. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm assuming. Yep, it should be right here. So I have, this is a 1200 horsepower one. There we go. It's going to be 149-446-548. It's the share code. And then the original engine is uh, has 789 horsepower, 603 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, and here's the share code for that one. is 654059562. There you go, guys. Two tunes there with the original engine fully built and the 1,200 horsepower fully, uh, fully built as well. Man, this thing just sounds so nice. Alrighty, so that was some of the video guys. Hope you guys liked the vehicle. Uh, subscribe, enjoy, and I'll see you guys around with another drag to video. Peace everybody. Bye-bye now.